Should I play them again just for the recording? Would that be um, helpful? Let me um, let me go through them again. Maybe a little bit a little bit quicker. No, I didn't I didn't do do that right. I'm sorry. No. I'm sorry. I'm I'm uh, losing my sense of uh what the next part is. Somebody remind me. I think that, right? Why am I drawing a blank? Okay, the next tune. Of course, I turn the recorder on and I and I mess it up. Okay, so um, yeah. <laughs> uh, Patterns of Keys um, again. It, it's in G. This is the first one. So uh, the first phrase. I guess it can start on an open A note as a sort of a lead in. So the first phrase. phrase just basically a D chord and then a, a G chord so those three parts together
And then the next phrase is sort of just like the first phrase. It so it does that G and then and then it goes. So all those together. Any questions on that? So you basically play that twice for the A part. Play it, I'll play it through like three times. Can you quickly go over the pickup that you do in between those two? I missed. Yeah, so it's just a open, little bit. an open A, A note, kind of hammering on if you're a guitar player, which no, none of us are. <laughs> You got that mark? Is that good? Yeah, I was. Uh, it's the same pickup in the in the first as going through the, the second time through, right? It is. Yeah. Yeah. So that's. I was wondering between the two A and B part or first and second time through, but it's the same, so that's good. It, it is the same. Yeah, it's pretty simple, just like the first tune. It's very simple, except the B part is um, is a little bit more complicated. But so let me play it play the A part, it's basically a repeat of the same phrases um, twice, and I'll play it through like three times, so we get a sense of it. the a part pretty pretty simple okay so now the b part um a little bit more complicated so um it has three lead-in notes for the for the b part going up to the the d from a up to d and then it the, it actually starts on the e note So it's playing that uh, C sharp note there. Oh. So it has a, a C natural and a C sharp there. time. OK. 
Okay, the next phrase. Let me let me do that together. phrase starting on that G again. I do that slowly. together. So for the fiddle players, I find it interesting or it's fun to do a lot of slurring and drawing long bows and drawing faster and slower to get sort of um, emphasis on some notes and being softer on other notes. So just something to play with. Do that again. The next phrase, um, sort of a triplet. So the, and then the next phrase um, on the D. So those two together. And again. Okay. And then, so let me play all those together so you get a sense of them. slower that was kind of fast From that G note, um, you do another arpeggio down. So, and you can do um, some triplets in there or some rolls.
So the next phrase after that, I'll do, I'll do, I'll start with the. You go right back up to the G. So all that together. One more time. Okay, and then the next phrase is, is similar, pretty much the same. Go down to the to the B and then So all, those those two together. Again. One more time. Okay, so that's pretty much the whole B part. Let me, um, play it through a couple times slowly and see if we get a uh, sense of it. Um, no. Is that all right for everybody? Do I need, should I play it slower or are we, um, is everybody good? Okay. So let's go through the, through the whole thing, um, three times. Let's see how it goes.
How's that going for everybody? Nice. That's awesome. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. It's a nice tune. Um, I get a little tripped up on the B part. The B part is a little more tricky, yeah. And it's it's longer. It's yeah. twice as long. Okay. I, there's something uh, about it. That's it. Yeah, yeah. And then it suddenly returns to the A part out of nowhere, you know. It's, it, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. It's uh, because the A part is half the half the length is the B part. I think it mm -hmm. it throws you off. I know. Uh, nice too, though. It sounds. It nice. is. Yeah, it's a lot of fun when a lot of people are playing it. Did you say that's a polka? It is. Yeah, yeah. And it's called? Uh, the only name I have for it is Padre Joquis. Okay. Um, and there is a, a recording of Nathan Gurley and uh, Laura Federson playing it that I'll, I'll share with you guys. So what makes a polka a polka? Like, I you know, like a reel and a, <laughs> and a, a jig all, you know, the six, eight, four, four. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, that's a good question. Um, I just kind of uh, the feel of it. I know um, the Irish polkas have a have that distinct from from a fiddle perspective that distinct kind of ball, uh, pulsing bowing that, that happens that um, okay. you can feel, but um, like the like, emphasis on the backbeat. Emphasis on the backbeat, right? Yeah, and it's the uh, the tempo is time signature is two four, I believe. I think so. For I the think polka, so. yeah, as mm. opposed to the real is four four. And the mix of the steady rhythm with the dotted rhythm. Yes. Yeah. Because it's, you know, if you can picture dancing to it, it's like it helps you to swing and to. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Turns or whatever. Okay. Thank you. And then there are slides, which are sort of a, a little bit more intricate version of a polka mm. um, and very similar. Gotcha. Okay. Um, but I, I can't think of any slides right now. But t Tim, are, are slides usually played faster than polkas or slower? Or what is the, do you, know, do you have a sense um. of? You know what? Let's answer that in a week because I, I taped um, when Nick and Allison were did the whole series of Schlieve Lucra styles. Um, yeah. I taped a little snippet of them talking about the difference between um, like jigs and slides. Okay. Um, that, yeah, we're talking about that. It's it's definitely slower. And more elongated notes, like you tend to have a longer, like a whole dotted quarter held or that's quarter. right. Oh, uh, more than oh. all three eighths all the time. So actually, s slides are closer to jigs than they are to polkas. Yes. Yeah, I got that wrong. But yeah, I remember that lecture. That was a good lecture. That was yeah. So. Schlieve Lucra is a a region in County Clare where it's, um, it's in it's straddle it's Cary and straddles the line between East Cary and um, it gets into Cork a little bit and um, so south of, it's south of Clare south of Clare okay but um, 
Yeah, so this certain area where, where the polkas and slides are like the main thing there. Yes, that's what I, I was thinking. They What's that area in. called? Schlieglukra. But it's not spelled that way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. So Schlieve, Schlieve means hill or mountain. So, um, and I'm not sure what Schlieve looks like. The other one is like rushy, like rushing water. Uh, rushy, like, yeah, the rushy mountaineers. And in, in that particular area, they like slides, you said? Polkas slides. and slides. Yeah, polkas and slides. Yeah. I mean, they play reels and jigs, too. Spelled like that. <laughs> yeah. Wait, did I spell that right? Yes, I did. Yeah. <laughs> After I type it, I'm like, oh, wait, hold on. Nobody would know to correct you, Ashley, so <laughs> don't worry about it. <laughs> so, uh, uh, like, Jackie Daly is a, is a well-known button box player from that region. I think um, Dennis Murphy and Julia Clifford are from that region. We're brother and sister. Brother and sister, yeah. And Padre O'Keefe is sort of the yeah. big figure. And he taught a lot of those people. <clears throat> OK. So um, do we want to play the two together, or do we want to just go on to the Donna's, Donna's saying yes? OK. So let's do that. And maybe just a little bit faster, but not, not too much. Just kind of follow that up. Thank you. 
The great set. It is, yeah. If only I could remember that one B part. Sorry, guys, I wasn't on mute. Oh, that's all right. That's all right, yeah. That was great. Thank you, Eric. You're welcome, Donna. By the way, I've never tried looking at the recordings after. Where do you go to see the recordings? Uh, I've been putting them on, on YouTube and then sending out a link and an email to them. Yeah. So, um, okay. Should, that's easy. You should get those emails that have a link. Yeah. yeah. And you can only, uh, um, generally I'm setting them to, um, only for folks who get the link to have access, but, um, unlisted, unlisted. Yeah. Yeah. So what YouTube site are they? They're on my personal page. Oh, okay. We, we should have a DEMA. We should have a DEMA page that um, we could just load them to. Mm -hmm. That would probably be better. There's automatically a YouTube account with every Gmail. So you just have to set it up. Oh, is there really? But we can, we can do that for sure. Okay. That's a great idea. Yeah. Yay, more technology. More technology. And I started putting all of the all of the sheet music and recordings that you guys sent out into a Google Drive folder. So we have them all in one place. So I'll I can send that out to people too because it's helping great. me to have them all in one place rather than a million emails that I lose. That's great, yeah. Yeah, very nice. Okay. Well, let's um, let's get started on the session, the slow session here. Let's see, James, you got something for us? Yeah, I'm working on um Christmas Eve reel in preparation. Ah, so, okay. Yeah. Um, gotcha. It's a little early, I guess, but who knows? No, I gotta, I gotta work it up. Just in time, yeah. Just in time. <laughs> All right.
That's great. That's not an easy tune. <laughs> yeah, the third, so it's a reel, right? So another yeah. question for you guys. Yeah. So what is, there's like three parts to that one, right? Right, right. But a lot of reels have two, or is it just yeah, one most have two or three? Most have two, some have three, some have six. <laughs> Six, okay, okay. <laughs> or seven. Uh, like those ones. <laughs> <laughs> Straightaway Child, I think, has seven. Um, yeah, most commonly two or three sometimes. So. Yeah, you not... could feel like when, I, when I'm when i trying to learn it, I can really feel the third one is like a lot extra to remember, right? Yeah, and the, the feel of the third part is very different than the other two parts. Sorry, I didn't know. Uh, Thanks, Tim. <laughs> just practicing. I kind of jumped ahead, but we were enjoying it. Not a T yet. I apologize. Uh, let's see, Ashley, you're you're up next. I know. Oh, can I make a request instead of playing something? Sure, sure. Will you play the 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 um? Oh shoot! What's the first tune? Bloom of Youth is that the first tune? The Bloom of Youth. Oh, oh, that. Yeah, yeah. Is that right? Yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I was happy. Bloom. Of Youth. That one. Yeah. You're welcome. I have to say the speed at which you seem to, everyone seems to pick these up and absorb them is astounding. <laughs> <laughs> Some of them are still working. used to it. <laughs> what was yeah, that? Some of us are still working. Still working on the absorbing part, but. <laughs> yes. I mean, Eric, play the second tune. Work. That's a nice tune too. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, I'll see. I'll have to start with, with the first one so I know where to go. Thank you. 
Cashel or Cashel. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Uh, let's see. Who's next on the list here? Um, I haven't been doing a good job of keeping keeping up on the list. Um, Ashley. Oh, Donna, are you going to, do you want to play one? No, I'm going to pass and I'm going to sign off right now. Okay. 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 Thank, thanks. Thanks a lot, Eric. You're welcome, and Donna. Yep. See everybody, see you next, you're still meeting next week, right? Uh, I think we are, yeah. Yep. Yeah, the following. Okay. That's okay. Yeah, your Christmas Eve next, the Thursday after that. Okay. Happy Hanukkah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Donna. Um, oh, Mark. Mark, you're up next. I don't know what to play. Um, I mute off here. Uh, <laughs> Is it out in the ocean? Out in the I ocean. think it's something, uh, you know, we're still sort of in semi-slow session, right? Yeah, yeah. I think that's good. Thank you. 
That work all the right, Eric? Sounds good. Hi, Melinda. Hey. I don't have my fiddle uh, yet, but I kind of wanted to listen in, and then I'm going to try to play a little bit afterward. Awesome. But I don't want you to watch me eat food, so no. <laughs> <laughs> nice tune, Mark. Eric, are you being attacked by rabid raccoons or what? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> it's like <laughs> right in the animal, <laughs> animal control over there. <laughs> he wants to get in, involved with the mix. That's what my cat decided to do during my classes that I'm teaching the other day. Just sat down right on my computer in the middle of class. <laughs> my students love it. They're like, oh, it's a cat. And they freak out, but you know. Yeah, yeah. He rails the whole class. Okay, let's see here. What's up next? Uh, I think I got my list right now. Um, Jim, you're up next. That was quick. That was. <laughs> um, trip to Berkeley and Jamie's jig. Oh, nice. nice. Marty's uh, actually write both of those. He did, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah he'd be proud. 
-hmm. Right. Thanks, Jim. Mm -hmm. uh, John, you're up next. Okay. Let's try this one. Ended there. I think I missed the B part on the second time. <laughs> it's all good. I lost there. And I don't remember the name of that tune. That's uh, one of the Lark tunes. Lark in the morning. Lark, Lark in, in the morning. morning. Thank you. There you go. Yeah. That sounded great, John. Thank you. Uh, I think you guys have heard enough of me. I'm going to skip over myself and hand it over to Tim. Did you say my name? I did, yes. Oh, okay. Um, we could do that set, uh, the Holly Bush Fermoy Lasses and um, Sporting Patty. Oh, great. Sounds good.
awesome. <laughs> it's a great set. That is nice. I'm so rusty on all of those. Me too. <laughs> nice set, Tim. Uh, Lauren, it's your turn. You got one for us? Um, I don't really have anything new, so I guess I'll just do the butterfly, which is my, my go-to. Good. Sounds good. <laughs> had it going there it was it was moving somewhere <laughs> I, knew, I knew what you were playing yeah swallowtail swallowtail jig yeah sounding really good thank you really yeah good. I, i'm on the new instrument so it's a whole new beast today yeah it's a higher it? tension and i have a lot of blisters now <laughs> that's a different heart than you played before yep there's my baby one ah. there's my new one it's a uh, Real big. Wow. It's got pedals on it and it's the it's the orchestra harp. Oh wow. Yeah. It came on Friday in the world's biggest box. And now I don't know what to do with the box. <laughs> it's like a wood, wood crate. No, they do it in a big cardboard box now. Really? Wow. Yeah, with okay. foam all around the instrument and uh they're like, the boxes are really expensive, but we don't have a garage or a basement. So hopefully it will never have to go on a semi-truck again. Um, yeah. Where did it come from? Uh, this one came from Virginia, and before that it was in France. Wow. The French brand. And uh, it just, uh, I, w I really wanted to go see it in person, but I, I was telling Eric earlier, maybe you were here, maybe you were not. Um, I'm going to apply an audition for Wayne State this year, this coming year. And so the clock was just ticking. I had to get a pedal harp for the classical music. And so it was on a Black Friday special from the Virginia Harp Center. And I bought it sight it unseen was. like a crazy person. <laughs> but it worked out. <laughs> So it's it's new though, so it has a warranty. So if anything was weird, 
you know, get taken care of. But... Well, if you uh, if you have uh, any raised beds or want to put in raised beds for gardens, put down cardboard. Save it for that. It's yeah. Perfect. Keep keep the weeds down. Okay. Yeah. We uh we run a business out of the house, so we get a lot of boxes. I'll keep that in mind. It's just it's like so but it won't even fit in a like you need an extended pickup truck bed to put the fit put it in when it's all flat so i posted it online to see if anyone nearby needed one or even just wanted it in case but i'm gonna cut it down for trash day i guess <laughs> that'll be that but it's a yeah that's it's here and it's uh i'm excited but it's uh the pedal harps have a different string tension and I haven't played one since I was in college, so it's really tough on the fingers for like the first four weeks. So it's a little bit of a different animal. Yeah, I probably like the difference between playing the fiddle and playing a, a acoustic guitar with steel strings. Mm, yeah, and that yeah, that's the other thing is my little one only has four or five bass wires, and this one from here down is all wire. Ooh, that one's even, like, the bottoms are pretty loose, even. Oh. Like, I don't even know if the mic will pick up the low ones, but... A little bit. Yeah. yeah. I've got... I don't have the best mic. <laughs> so. I saw yeah. a, a YouTube video last week. Somebody made a full-sized harp out of chocolate. Yes, that's made its way around the harp community. <laughs> that was pretty amazing. Yeah, but yeah, a lot. But I'm keeping the little one to stay on Celtic music too. But I'm trying to get my fingers adapted quickly, so I'm on this one today. Nice. Yeah. Sounded very nice. Thank yeah. you. Okay, uh, Kenji, it's your turn. Yeah, one for us. <clears throat> see. Thank you. 
What was the first tune? The first tune is Floating Crowbar. Ah, uh -huh. oh yeah. And the second one? Salamanca Rio. Salamanca. Salamanca. Yeah, that's a nice set. You sound great, Kenji. Okay, uh, James, you're up next. I was just thinking the only time a crowbar is floating is <laughs> somebody throws it, right? That's right. <laughs> Sounds a little dangerous. Yeah. Um, I'm going to do one of Marty's songs. This was, um, uh, this was, I think this was the girl, the, the girls at the bus stop. That's this one. Uh, the polka, uh, were those polkas? Those are polkas, weren't they? They're real. They're yeah, real. Oh, real. Okay. Uh, okay, here we go. Thank <laughs> you. 
That was great. Nice, Love that. nice James. Your rolls are sounding yeah. really, really smooth. That sounded great. Oh, yeah. Thank you. I think that was my favorite one. I yeah. couldn't, I couldn't, get, couldn't it out. get it out. Yeah. yeah. I had to go over that one again. That's great. Very nice. Eric, I'm going to peel off now. Okay. Thank you all. Have a good evening. Nice to see sure. you. Sure. Thank you for joining, John. Yep. Yep. We'll see okay. you later. Ashley, it's it's your turn. Perfect. Just as I was about to say goodbye. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll play. All right. All right. Um, when I do some pokas, I've got pokas now in the okay. brain. Okay. Um, some of the Valley Desmond ones, maybe all of them. I don't know. <laughs>
I think that uh, some of the C sharps were probably not in the right spot, but that's okay. That's, that's that sounded, it sounded great, great though. though. Very rollicking. Very rollicking. That's fun. Well, I have to go light candles now, so I'll see you all. Okay. Okay. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Hanukkah to you. to you. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. yeah. Well, see you soon. See you soon. Actually. Bye. Bye. Okay. Let's see. Melinda, are you still with us? I see your name up there. But um I didn't know if you wanted to if you want to play something, you're wel you're welcome. If you're still with us. Okay. Uh let's see. Mark, you're up next. Well, we'll see how this goes. Internet's been a little uh, unstable but, today. <laughs> what else is new, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, Tim's favorite tune, maybe. Tim, pay attention. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> uh, let's see. Nice job. You're quite the journeyman with that tune. Yes. It's always a job of too much work, you know? Yeah. We need to learn uh, the Blackbird to go along with that. Play those two as a set. Which version? Because I, I love the Blackbird, whichever one it is. Yeah, well, set the one, dance one, the set dance one, yeah, yeah, goes with Java Journey work. Kenji knows that. Those are the trad dances. Yeah. That's what all the girl, well, girls and guys have to compete a trad set, and both of those are trad set. It's the exact same across the world, same dance. Oh, is it really? Yeah, except for like the other one. Gosh, I can't remember what the beginner one is called, but there's always an argument about one particular step. 
oh, and you really? have to know what judge you're going to be in front of to get, play that one, to dance that one beat correctly. Oh, but yeah, nice. job of the journey work, Blackbird, and oh, St. Patrick's Day. Is that what it's, the other Day. one's called? Yeah. Cool. They have a few others too, but same dance yeah. across the world. There's a um, there's a nice YouTube video of. Uh, Michael Turbody's wife, Celine, dancing to um, the Blackbird. And I think it's at Willy Week where she's doing it and, and Michael's playing the, the flute behind her. Um, it's a real nice version of it. Okay, let's see. Uh, Jim. You're up. Um, Whelan's old sow, and when the cock crows, it is day. Okay.
third one was Bill Collins, and on the session.org, it's the ninth version they posted. The ninth, okay. The ninth version is why I've heard it in Columbus. I'm trying to think of where I've heard that before. I don't know if it's something they've played in at the session in Arbor. But yeah, it sounds familiar. That's a great set. Thanks, Jim. Okay. Uh, let's, oh, it's my turn. Um, I want to play. Um, I'm going to take off. My Grubhub's been here about an hour. <laughs> okay. Have a good night. Thank you. You too, Lauren. Thank you. Yep. Talk to you later. Um, boy. Why don't you do the, uh, uh, the Otters Holt and that other one? I can't remember the. Oh, yeah. Dunmore Lasses. Uh, Dunmore Lasses, right. Okay. I was thinking of sisters somehow, something <laughs> sisters. But I was, Dunmore Lasses works. Okay. Yeah, that's a good one. Thank you.
Eric, did you forget how to count? <laughs> I I was counting to four at that time. Well, both both of them. Both of them, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's and fine. It was good. I was breaking the rules. No, you weren't. No. Who is that that we took that workshop from? Who said you should play him like six or eight times in a row? Ah, oh, that was Fergal Scowl, wasn't it? Yes, Fergal. I think so. He said, Looking yeah. wearing red pants? Yeah. <laughs> the red leather pants. Play, play the tunes seven or eight or ten times in a, in a row. Okay, Tim, you're up. Does anybody know the uh, Marty's polkas? I I want to know them, but I can't say that I, I I I could definitely try to follow along with you if you want to play them. I don't need to play a solo, so if nobody knows them, I'm not going to do it. Well, I I will pretend that I'm playing I think along. I can... I think I, I, I looked at one a little bit. Actually, go, go for it. Jim, you don't, you don't know the polkas yet? I vote for it. I vote for them. Jim, do you know them? Then let's do something else. Cool. <clears throat> Looking at a list here. <clears throat> um. You know, since Kenji is still here, let's do uh, the Phoenix. Oh. I heard it from Kenji years ago. Um. I have to remember it. <laughs> Thank you. 
<laughs> I was going to keep going till I got it right one time through. <laughs> Sorry about that. That's a great tune. I'll have to remember how to play it. Yeah, that, that's a good one. I like that rule. That's yeah. a good rule. <laughs> I think the fifth time would have been the charm, but. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes that's what it takes. Okay, Kenji, it's your turn. Is it my is it my turn? It is, yeah. You got one. You got one for us. See, um, <clears throat> do you know? Um, I'll just.
Good stuff. I like this set. That is nice, yeah. Concertina polka. Nice stuff. Guys, I think I'm gonna sign off. Okay. Yeah. I'm feeling See you. tired good myself, night. but see okay. you next week. Sounds good, yeah. Good seeing you, Kenji. Have a good week. Thank you. Yep. We'll see you later. Bye. See you guys. Have a good week. You gonna take off, James? Okay. Good seeing you. Thanks for uh, stopping by. Thank you as well, all you guys. Thank you. Thank yep. you. See you next week. Yep. I got seven more minutes in me. <laughs> uh, I might have three. I don't know. Let's see. Okay. So, Mark, it's your turn. You got one for us. Uh, go one more round. Yeah, I probably do. Take my muse off here. Um. I played that in tune. Yeah. You know, I've got these uh I've got these Bose and uh, noise canceling headphones. Yeah. And and they were working great when we started I wouldn't I wouldn't say the session was great, but when we were doing the online sessions, it's, you know, I could hear myself play reasonably well. Okay. But that's because one of the ear cups on it had started to rip and shred and peel away. So oh. I bought replacements. And now I can't tell whether I'm in tune or not. You can't hear yourself? <laughs> it sounds oh. like really muffled. Oh. It's really a pain in the ear. Because of the noise canceling, probably. Really. I think, yeah. yeah. And, and, it, and it's because they're over the ear. They're pretty, pretty efficient headphones, you know, for muffling out sounds. Yeah, okay. If they're noise canceling headphones, you should give them to Janet. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it, nothing works. <laughs>
Actually, I'm going to sign off. I think I my seven minutes are up. So are they? Okay. Uh, yeah, I think I've I think I've uh, I wore myself out. Uh, I did a bunch of splitting of wood yesterday, so my bow arm is kind of like rubber today. Did you? Oh, okay. So uh, that's good exercise. Uh, well, I got a wood splitter, you know, one of those hydraulic things. So, and my nephew helped. So, did he? Okay. Not like I really overtaxed myself, but at any rate, wine, 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 old age, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I'm feeling it. So, okay. So, all right. I'll see you guys uh, next week. Good. Sounds good. Okay. Thanks, Mark. All right. Bye. Thanks. Good Talk to you later. Yep. Bye bye. Well, um, I guess I could play some, like, Milky Way or something. Would that be, would you guys be up for that? Okay, let's see what I can do.
Ja. Uh. Uh, I can't do it. I'm sorry. I was going to go on to the next one, but I was down I too fast. That. I learned that. Yeah. I love those tunes. Yeah, they're fun. And they go fast like that. Yeah, you played the milk you played pretty good, too. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'm going to go out on a high note. That's... I mean, that's... I'm done. <laughs> that, was, that was fun. It was fun, yeah. Okay. Well, see you guys well, next Thursday. Sounds good. Yeah. Right. Thank you. Call it a night. Yep. Thanks, Tim. Thanks, Jim. Bye. See you guys later. Yep.